Welcome, diners, to Renegade Mac and Cheese's re Let's Play of Final Fantasy XIV. I am Renegade Mac and Cheese, your host to seat you for the supplemental. For your dining pleasure, we will be serving a side dish of hard mode for Sunken Temple of Karn. Again with my co-host, Daniil and Josia. Hello. Hello. And... Off we go. Off we go. Help that person's companions. Sphere. Got it. <laughs> I was going to say we could show the thing here. Yep. If you see these spears coming out of the ground, if you take the mobs on top of them. They actually take damage from the spears coming out. It's not a ton, but every little bit helps. Now my ankles. <laughs> I wonder what's in this room. I don't see any boss. Just a big pile of rocks. Hey, these rocks are moving. You'll see a particular piece of this boss glow. That's the one you want to focus your attacks on. If you get this thing above your head, you want to move out of the way because it places down a big sphere of sand. Which will then pulse and do damage if you're nearby. I love how you can do four times my HP in one <laughs> cure. Yep. And you're not even a healer. Yep. <laughs> okay, I'm not seeing the flashing light. Uh, it only flashes once when it initially... Uh, it was on the arm. Thank you. Once you take out the flashing uh, piece, the boss Wait, will break. collapse, and some ads will spawn. Kill the ads, and the boss will reform, and another piece will glow. That, head. that one. Yep, that one's yep. the head. Whoop. If you get that, you want to make sure to get out of it, because if you don't... It will kill you. It will <laughs> kill you, because you get dragged in under the quicksand, basically. It collapses, and we get more ads. Basically, just rinse and repeat. Every time the boss gets up, another piece will glow. Arm, arm again. again. Oop. Run away. You can't jump either. There nope. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
now you can see he's got very little health left, so... That must be the last one. Let's just <laughs> finish that off. Finish him. This guy's fun. Yep. As you can see, he's got two parts. The head and the hand. The hand. We'll grab the first person. Yep. And then if you don't take it out so whoever got grabbed can get out of that attack. I honestly don't remember most of, if this guy has any other attacks because usually that's it fairly quickly. <laughs> usually. Make sure to grab the spheres. Always from the facers. And... Oh, don't forget to cut that chest. And unlike the last one, this one has two hands, which means... Ah, touchy-feely all over. <laughs> no, thank you. Ooh, no frozen. <laughs> Everybody can be. Sabatender boss. She's fun because you have to. I guess she will periodically attempt to cast a hundred thousand needles, and you have to attack her to interrupt it. Take out the ads. Obviously, stay out of the AOEs on the ground. Yep, those stones. Hi! Yep, see, there it goes. <clears throat> now, what we are waiting for in regards to the Neil learning an ability is one particular ad to spawn that doesn't. <clears throat> and there he is. Sabatender Campiador. Did he do it? Is it him or is it a different one? Yeah, it might be the next one. I think it's the next one, yeah. If she's allowed to get off the 100,000 needles, as the name implies, it will do 100,000 damage. That's the one, Guardia. And he just did it. He does it as soon as he pops up. Yep. So. And I got it. Nice. Oh, 
there any reason to get the antique items? Yeah, if you don't have the uh, original uh, I-90 gear, you can make that, make them with those. And last sphere. Yep. Mummies that come out of tombs, just kill them. have to go into the two side rooms here place the spheres two of the spheres that you got and there's not a way to get it wrong because you were asked to apply the and correct one you come here and you put in the last sphere open Are we going to deliberately, uh... Yes, I will. <laughs> okay. <laughs> of course, Mac will probably get it too. Getting lasered. <laughs> yeah. For this boss, you want to be keeping an eye on the edges of the arena because you will get lines of coffins that will spawn and then will open up and spawn mummies that will march across the arena. In a straight line. In a straight line. And there will usually be uh, uh, two rows. It will never. It will never cover the entire arena. You will always have a chance of not getting hit by them. If you get hit three times, or if the laser stacks on you uh, enough, you will be turned into a mummy and dragged to a coffer or a coffin later, so that you can do the same thing. Yep. There they are. Yep, just like that. Two rows of the mummies, so you don't want to be there. Although if we want to get hit, yeah, as you can see, Danny just got two stacks of Curse of the Mummy. Not the Brendan Fraser movie. <laughs> or the Tom Cruise one, either. So, yep, there we go. Sometimes they will overlap, though, like here, where they're on two different sides. I yep. got mummied. Yep, and you get dragged over in. Close, it closes up. Arm, I get you. <laughs> and you just uncontrollably run across <laughs> I can see they popped up it's very easy to lose track of where the mummies are and that's oh no that's well, we need oh, no there's the uh the line of hey, uh, yeah, the, the lasers in the lines yep
Nope. Nope. Metal. <laughs> go and he will randomly target someone with that yeah. he should be doing the line oh, careful <laughs> uh, not over there not over there mac i see quit shooting at me <laughs> he likes you Rip. I do not look good all wrapped up in a present. Yep, and here's the, here's the tether, which... Yeah, he will chase that person around. Yeah, he will chase that person around, usually until you get three stacks. I ended up with four stacks because I already had two. There, Danny. <laughs> oh, yeah, I saw you. Uh, that is all of his yep. attacks. All right, three men. Wow. <laughs> you never underestimate a red mage on a mission. I'd like to thank you for dining with us this episode this supplemental for final fantasy 14 if this video has been pleasing to your palate please leave a thumbs up please leave any comments and suggestions in the comment card below and i'll see if i can add them to the menu if you'd like to receive more morsels while they're still fresh please subscribe if you'd like more of the all-you-can-eat buffet please check my other videos and playlists this is rainy gate mac and cheese clocking out and i'll see y'all during my next shift